Today I wanted to tell you all of my iPhone 15 Pro accessories that I use on my daily life. Let's start everything off with the Casetify 2-in-1 MagSafe stand. Now this sits right in my desk and charges my iPhone and my AirPods at the same time. And with iOS 17, if you put your iPhone horizontally, you're actually going to get standby mode, which basically allows you to use your iPhone in a standby mode. You can see your favorite stocks, your calendar, you can add photos, you can add the time, you can customize it in a bunch of different ways. Now here's the thing, like me as a tech YouTuber, I've tested out a bunch of MagSafe accessories, but in order to use standby mode, you really want this to actually be stiff and to have a really strong magnet because if you use this, I've got a couple of MagSafe stands that whenever you use it, it like keeps on twisting. So it makes it a little bit uncomfortable for standby mode. And this stand is just really well made. The magnets are great. And in terms of design, I like the way that it looks. You've got the famous Case Defy logo right in the MagSafe stand. And then you've got this aluminum or, or stainless steel. I don't really know what it is, but it feels great. It looks great. And once again, you can charge your AirPods right on the bottom. You also power it with USB-C. I mean, there's a lot to like about it. Something not to like about it is that it's a little bit too expensive, but you obviously pay for the quality because the quality is top notch. Up next is a very controversial product because I'm going to say I like the fine woven MagSafe wallet. Now I know Fine Woven has gotten a lot of criticism in terms of it material because a lot of people compare it against leather. Which one do I prefer? I just think they're different. Me personally, I like it. I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it ages. I like the way that it feels. Now, I don't actually have my credit cards in here. I've got my ID and like my insurance info and I basically just snap it on the back. I don't use it every single day because since I've got Apple Pay, I don't really need my ID and my insurance every single day. But whenever I go traveling, I always snap this on the back. And what's cool about the MagSafe wallet is that you've also got Find My connectivity. So if you actually detach your wallet, it will notify you. If you leave your wallet behind, it will also notify you. So it's kind of like an AirTag. I don't know. Don't judge me. I like the MagSafe wallet. Next up in the list is the Sonos Move 2. This is a must have speaker from Sonos. The quality is top notch. It's basically like a Bluetooth speaker, but on steroids. Usually Bluetooth speaker are like really tiny and small. This has Bluetooth, but also has Wi-Fi, which means that you can actually play music with your iPhone directly with Apple AirPlay. It is pretty heavy, but I say it in a good way because that means that the battery life is also amazing and that the sound quality, I mean, is insane. Sonos actually invited me to Ibiza for a trip to show me the Sonos Move 2. And we actually did a big party on a boat only using one Sonos Move 2. So that's how you know it's actually amazing. Now, a tiny little trick is that you've also got a USB-C port on the back, which can actually charge your iPhone. So let's say you're in the pool and you're listening to music with this guy, you can just connect it to your iPhone and it will charge your, your iPhone. So pretty useful. I've also been using the Belkin Boost Charge Pro. Yes, I had to read it because the name is kind of weird. It's the charger that has been charging my iPhone 13 Pro, my 14 Pro, and my 15 Pro. I've had the charger for the past three years, and I love it. It's got fast 15 watt charging, charges my AirPods, my Apple Watch, and my iPhone at the same time. The magnet is by no means as strong as the Case Defy one, but still, it charges all of my devices, and I absolutely love the way that it looks. It just feels like such a premium stand, and I've been so happy within so many years that I've actually been using it. And then I've got another speaker that I wanted to tell you, and since it's waterproof, I mean, it kind of changes everything. Check it out. Meet the Soundcore Motion 300. It's a great sounding handheld Bluetooth speaker that comes at a price that makes it irresistible. It's got wireless high res certification. In other words, it sounds amazing. You've got omnidirectional mode, so when it's facing upwards, the bass and the mid high frequency will boost. Or you've got the EQ3 mode. Basically, if you're hiking or walking around, or you basically strapped it within the strap to your backpack, for example, you're gonna get a suspension mode that basically will mean that you're using it outdoors. So you're going to have an overall boost gain and basically the volume will just crank it up. You've got full 13 hours of battery life. This means 13 hours of listening nonstop. It's got a great design that is extremely durable, so you can be a little bit rough with it. You can use it outdoors. And it's also got an IPX7 water resistance. So, I mean, this is the speaker that you want to bring with your picnics, with your hikes, on your boat. It's great to travel with, to just snap it on a backpack. So yeah, if you're interested in the Soundcore Motion 300, link are down below in the description. Okay, back to the video. 
Now, since the iPhone 15 Pro now has USB-C, I've actually been using a bunch of my USB-C accessories that I use on my Mac and on my iPad on my iPhone as well. For example, with my Basis USB-C hub, I can actually connect you know, an HDMI port, an SD card, my micro SD cards from my GoPro, for example, and a bunch of USB ports. So it's great. It even has a headphone jack if you want it and even Ethernet port. But for me, whenever I'm traveling and I take a bunch of video and photos on my camera, I can just grab my SD card, plug it in here and connect it to my iPad. I just love the fact that the iPhone 15 Pro has USB-C. And then I always have SSDs that are obviously Thunderbolt with USB-C. So something cool about the iPhone 15 Pro is that you can actually connect it via USB-C to a hard drive. You can actually shoot log with the iPhone. It's something that I definitely have to experiment way more. But just the fact that we can experiment with USB-C and Thunderbolt devices on an iPhone is crazy to me. Then I've got my last two accessories that I love using with my iPhone, which are my AirPods Max and my AirPods Pro. I use both of them quite a lot. I do have to say I use my AirPods Pro more because since they are so portable, I always love bringing them on. But there's something so special about the AirPods Max and its sound quality and its fit that just makes me wanna use them every single day. With my AirPods Pro, they both have such great noise cancellation that whenever I'm at a coffee shop or if I'm traveling on an airplane, whatever, they're so good. And within the microphone quality, they're also very good. So whenever I need to take business calls and something, I can just, you know, connect my AirPods and grab it. So yeah, all the accessories that I've mentioned in this video will obviously be linked down below in the descriptions. Those are all the accessories that I use. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite, which one do you use on your daily life? I obviously didn't mention the Apple Watch, but that's kind of been obvious. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.